Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kelsey and uh, hi everybody, hi everybody. Make sure, you, um, hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kelsey and if you are not new here, I hope you are subscribed. Hit the red button down below to subscribe, hit the bell to turn on post notifications. Yeah! If you're wondering why I look like an egg, I'm wondering the same thing, I don't really know. I'm wearing a headband today. I thought it was cute and fun and fresh. And, and if you disagree, then you can just like click off, I don't know. Anyways, so in today's new video, I have a bunch of stuff sitting on the floor in front of me because I'm going to give you my spring summer must have favorite items for these next two seasons coming up. I was gonna do just like a spring and then a summer one, but honestly, I'm sure that these things are gonna carry over because I am obsessed with all this stuff and I think that you guys should definitely check the links down below that I will put in so that you guys can go find the stuff yourself. I think that it's all really, really good quality products. Anyways, <laughs> okay, let's get into it. I try not to include a lot of clothing items into this because I'm going to do another video coming up about my summer clothes and stuff. If you're interested in that, um, make sure to subscribe because I'm coming out with that very, very soon. I'm going to do an outfit kind of inspired thing. So if you're into that, definitely subscribe so you don't miss that. First things first, I want to start with, let's do products first. Of course, I mean that cannot not be on my list. Sunscreen. I've been talking a lot about sunscreen recently. I've been super, super preachy about skincare and I am sticking with that this summer. I have a bunch of Supergoop products in front of me. The first one is the Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40 Broad Spectrum PA++++ Water, Water and Sweat Resistant for 40 minutes. This goes under your makeup. It is awesome. This is what the bottle looks like. The reason why I love this so much is because I have the other one right here. This is just regular sunscreen. Um, this one is a little bit less oily. It's definitely not your everyday sunscreen, I would say. I would use this one a little bit more sparingly for when you put it on under your makeup. That's what I use this for. And then I also have there every single day, Everyday Super Sunscreen Daily Moisturizer SPF 40. And this is what I wear every single day unless I'm wearing makeup, coat my face in it, put a ton on, reapply during the day. It works really well. It's a little bit oily, but that is what sunblock is and it's here to protect my skin, which is why I love it. You can buy these two things at Sephora. That is where I ordered them off of. They're pretty affordable for the most part. I have already repurchased this one and I will definitely be repurchasing this as well. And then I also have their lip balm, which I've been loving so much. It is the SPF 30 lip balm with acai in its broad spectrum. It's called Super Goop Play. And it smells really nice and it just does a really good job protecting my lips from the sun. And I just put it on like it's normal chapstick and I wear it all day as well. So these three things are super important. I've really been loving them so much. Along with the sunscreen trend, I have two um, body sunscreens that I have been <sighs> call her daddy drama guys i'm gonna pause for a second this has nothing to do with the video but if you guys listen to call her daddy <clears throat> or you've just been keeping up with barstool you know that there's major drama going on for call her daddy and alex just posted her new cover photo for the podcast because it's just alex now sophia is out and she looks freaking hot anyways <laughs> I have two sunscreens here for body sunscreens. You just get these at Target. They are the Sun Bum SPF 30 and 50. I love these things. They protect me really, really well. There we go. I always put on sunscreen whenever I'm at the beach um, or outside around my house for an extended period of time. I always put it on all over my body and this is always the one that I reach for. It works really, really well. Um, I try not to use the spray one anymore, which I was using before. It just, you don't get full coverage, if you know what I mean. Like it just, you spray it and you don't really know where it's going. So my dermatologist was like, you should probably be using a rub one. It's better. I re recommend rub over spray. Next for another lip product that I have is Carmex. If you guys watch my channel religiously, which I hope that you do, watch my channel religiously. If you don't, please do. 
Anyways, Carmex Classic Lip Balm. I use this stuff all the time. I swear by it. I live by it. I die by it. I bring it everywhere with me. I have one in my car. I have one in my coats. I have one in my purse. I have one in my wallet. I have one everywhere. Need I say more? Probably not. Okay, next we're gonna do makeup. Fresh and Frosted Sugar Rush Palette by Tarte. It's a highlighter palette. I've been using this for a while. I love this stuff. Uh, you always need a little glow in the summer, of course, just on your cheekbones to show that you look a little sun-kissed. Favorite shade right here, which is Glazed, Frosted, Iced. I never use ice because it's too light for me, but the other two are really cute because it's like a goldish and then like a rose goldish and those work really well with my skin tone. I got this at Ulta. Next we have the Milk Makeup Blush, you guys. So the Sephora, oh, my nose is like always itchy because I'm allergic to pollen really bad. So the Sephora sale happened recently and I went in. That's how I got all that super goop sunscreen. But this Milk Makeup Blush, it is the mini size and there is so much in here, you guys. Do not buy the full size, buy the mini size. It is way more worth it and it's less money and you get so much product in here. This is the shade Quirk and it's lip and cheeks. You can use it either or. I love it on my cheeks. It looks like this. This is like the same thing. Use it to give yourself a little sun-kissed look on your cheeks. Then we have my Ride or Die mascara. Once again, if you guys are OGs here, you know that I've been using this mascara forever. It's the L'Oreal Telescopic. I would die for this stuff. I love this stuff. It makes your lashes so long and so full. It looks just like this. And this is what the wand looks like. It's a lengthening mascara, so it's very thin. It's not like one of those fluffy wands. Definitely go out and pick this up. It's at Target, CVS, Walgreens, any of those kinds of places. This perfume I've been using forever. I just had to rebuy it for the first time. It's really affordable. It is from Urban Outfitters. It is the scent, the matcha. And it's one of their like signature scents. Looks like that. It's just a little green liquid on the inside. It smells. Oh, so it's like very fruity and like fresh. It's a light scent. It's only $18, so it's super affordable. And I also have here, so this is funny because I don't use nail polish ever because I usually get my nails and toes done. My toes done in the summer, my nails done all year round. But since we are not able to do that right now, um, I have been painting my own toenails and I've just been leaving my nails ratchet and it's fine. But this is an Essie nail polish, one of the many, probably one of my favorite nail polishes that I have to you to choose from right now. It's called Ballet Slippers. It's just this really pale pink color. It's kind of see-through, so you have to put on a couple coats, but I love this stuff. Just super neutral, goes with everything. That's like my kind of vibe when I pick out nail polish. Okay, let's do hair. So hair products, I only have one thing here. This is my Ride or Die shampoo. This is the Milkshake Silver Shine Light Shampoo. This stuff is, I'm not, I'm not squeezing it out of the bottle because it stains everything. It is so purple. It will stain your fingernails, it stains your skin, but it works really well. It's for blonde hair like mine because I like ashy blonde hair so this stuff keeps the yellow brassy tones out of it next so let's do accessories so some accessories that i have here oh before actually before i forget so i have a water bottle that it's been at somebody else's house since quarantine started and i couldn't go get my water bottle from her because it's quarantine so i'm going to get it tomorrow but i highly recommend a really good quality big water bottle that can hold like a ton of liquid you should be drinking water all day get as much water as you possibly can chug 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 keep yourself hydrated now if you're gonna drink a quick seltzer water that's maybe labeled a truly i mean i'm not gonna oppose you to doing so but <coughs> makes it in every single video literally every single one <coughs> if you're new here that's my dog 
I'm gonna keep going. So that water bottle, the one that I have, since I do not have it, I will put a picture right here. This is the one liter beaker bottle. They are glass, you can buy them off of Amazon, but they have a silicone cover on them with like a plastic top, high quality, um, but they're a little bit pricey, but it will last you forever because it's glass. So something else that is on my list are really good sunglasses. So recently, I, you guys know if you watch my videos that I love these sunglasses. These are the Ray-Ban Hexagon sunglasses. I love these. I swear by them, these are the large size. <clears throat> They're just really neutral, full frame with the green lens. I wear them with literally everything. They're super classy, they're different. Another pair that I have is from Key, I think is how you say it. It's an Australian brand, maybe it's Quay, I don't know. I call it Quay, but some people call it Key, I have no idea. But they are just these black and tortoise um, big framed sunglasses. They're plastic, so they cover like a lot of my face, which is really important for sun protection, obviously. These are really, really nice. They're super sturdy. These are not sturdy at all. They're just like literally so fragile. If you drop them, like the odds that they break are super high. But since these are like really thick plastic, they are super nice. They're really affordable compared to the Ray-Bans, which is why I like them so much because I can just be a little bit less careful with them. Shoes, let's do shoes. So I love to have a good wedge on hand that is versatile, that I can wear with basically anything, with jeans, with a skirt, with pants, with shorts. So these are Vince Camuno like slide wedges. I love the top because they have like every color of the rainbow in them. They have pink, they have black they have yellow they have red so you can basically wear any color with these and they're really cute they don't have like a big steep heel so i could wear these anywhere for as long as necessary because they just aren't going to be uncomfortable these are six and a half and i got these off of amazon so definitely go and check these out because i think a sandal like this like a slide on sandal like this is going to be really popular this summer i can specifically picture them playing pair of flared pants next pair of shoes you gotta have a good pair of sandals like flat sandals that you can just slide on i have two that i swear by first one are my rainbows these things are loved i'm just warning you pretty worn out but i wear these everywhere they're so comfortable once you break them in they do take a little bit of wearing but also these are a size medium by the way and then these are a size five they are my Birkenstocks I love these things they are the ones with the toe loop they are like in a pearl white color I think so they're a little bit shiny on the top once again well loved you can see um, I just ordered a new pair so definitely subscribe for that next video you guys because you will see my new pair in there these i think have seen their day unfortunately but i will keep them around for a little while longer they both of these go with literally anything if you want that like boho look you can wear these if you just want a casual look you can wear these and then my last pair of shoes you've got to have a good pair of workout shoes for summer my camera shut off <laughs> okay, i've been talking for over 25 minutes it's embarrassing there's a lot to do here in Boston where I live and I also work out a lot as well. I have now bought these twice. These are the Adidas Ultra Boosts. I had them in all black and I love them so much and I wore them so much that I bought them again in all black. These are the 2020 ones because I had the 2019 ones. Yeah, they are awesome. They fit so nicely and they have so much support. They have a nice thick bottom and they fit really nicely. I would definitely recommend sizing down half a size, but um, that is just me because Adidas runs a little bit big. Okay, so that's all for shoes. Let's do jewelry before I forget. So my must have jewelry is simple, plain, like the rings that I have on my fish ring, which is Cape Cod right here. And I have an entire video about Cape Cod jewelry. I will link it down below for you guys. This ring is my Nana's ring from when she was little. It's just aquamarine stone with um, gold and I cannot link either of those or my bracelet which is also Cape Cod because you can't link Cape Cod unfortunately for earrings I just honestly like a gold pair of hoops like a small one these are from Target they come in a pack of three so you can get it's like a small medium and large pair of hoops this is the medium pair so they're just dainty and small and simple you can wear them with anything and then I also have on a necklace that was my Nana's it's just a gold chain 
with a aquamarine pendant on it, which I cannot link down below. This is all real gold, so, um, and real stone. I have two pairs of shorts here for my must-haves. Like I said, I didn't wanna include like any clothing really because that's coming in another video, but one of my must-haves is definitely a pair of bike shorts. These are bike shorts from Airy. You guys, these feel just like the Lululemon Alliance. When I got them in the mail, I was like, oh my God, why do they feel so good? Not that I was expecting them to be like poor quality, but I didn't think that they were gonna feel just like the Alliance. So I would definitely pick these up if they still have them in stock. They're super stretchy, so comfortable. They are the Chill Play Move Airy small bike short. Um, yeah, I love these things with a big t-shirt and a pair of sneakers or sandals. I have a pair of Levi's shorts. You guys, I wore these non freaking stop last summer. These are a size 27 Levi's 501 short from Urban Outfitters. Super worn out, I love them. And they're so, so comfortable. They have the button fly in the front right here. Definitely go and check out their website and see if they have any in stock or something similar to this. I definitely won't be able to find these because they are from last season, but I think that having a pair of denim shorts is just super necessary, like your favorite pair, because you can just throw them on when you're going to the beach, you can throw them on when you're going out at night, you can throw them on in the morning when you're ready to get coffee. I got three more things. If you asked me last summer if I read, I would be like, no. But since we are not able to do much right now, I figured um, I would start to get into reading and one of my suggestions would be a good book to sit and read while you are at the beach or you have nothing to do instead of sitting on my phone i try to pick up a book so this book i actually have not even started but my other book that i just finished i gave to andrew's mom to read because i said it was so good it was called the hate you give and i'll link it down below but this is called where the crawdads sing i've heard some good stuff about it i just picked this up at target so i will link this i always think that everybody needs to have a good purse for the summer because i personally find that i'm just go 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 in the summer maybe not the summer specifically but i find that i'm always just picking up my stuff and going so i think that a small purse that you can just sling over your shoulder like a crossbody is really really nice this is a crossbody that andrew got me from italy so i cannot link this but it's just two-tone navy and brown which is why i think it's a great summer one because it literally goes with any outfit and it's just really nice quality it's real leather and it has an adjustable strap it has a big pocket like this it has a whole zipper compartment where you can close this whole top part and it has a place for your cards right here and then a pocket right here as well that can be closed with a zipper and then just an inside <clears throat> is nice and big and open and my last but not least must have is a good bathing suit that you feel good about yourself in so this is a pack sun bathing suit this is by the brand la hearts these are small bottoms they are ribbed in this really pretty yellow color with the string sides and then this is the top this is my favorite kind of top to wear just because i feel like it holds me in better um then like a triangle top i feel like i'm just all over the place in one of those but this is the top it is the same as the bottom just a ribbed yellow please focus just a ribbed yellow top with spaghetti straps like this and this is in a size medium on the top and the straps are adjustable too which is really really nice i haven't gone to wear it yet unfortunately but I, it does fit me really well like i said before i will have everything linked down below make sure you subscribed like i said at the beginning of the video and i will see you guys in my next one i love you stay safe bye